freaking day, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna be race training the old F1 boat. She's finally refurbished, and you guys have been asking to see some top speed runs in some official racing. Well, let me tell you what. When we did the offshore racing boat, if you guys missed that, you gotta go watch it. We never, uh, well, we never trained for it. And uh, we learned with boats like these, you gotta get some good old seat time in the cockpit before you can get out there and start getting after it. And we've got a potential race coming up so we need to trade. Can't gonna believe it. Thirty five point nine four. <laughs> My goodness man i just cannot get over how absolutely beautiful this thing is and we've got the jet ski which we haven't showed you guys too much yet so that's a whole surprise but here's basically how this is going to work so we've got our jet boat it's kind of our support boat for the day at least our supply boat more or less and we've got these big old buoys they're our baby dinosaur eggs we've got three of them to create a triangular pattern for our race course we had to make a triangle because we only got three buoys <laughs> or else we'd make a square or an oval or something like that. So we're going to go out on this boat. We're going to set up a course and then I'm going to hop up in the F1 boat, start doing a couple laps, start getting in my trim. So the whole thing about these F1 boats is, oh my gosh, I almost died. Corey almost died on the boat ramp again. I, we have all slipped on this boat ramp. It is so bad. So the whole thing about this boat is it just wants to go fast. That's the whole thing. But you control the speed with the throttle, obviously, but mostly with the motor and the trim. So the reason why we're doing some testing is because well, I need to learn how to use the trim efficiently. And we have a big storm coming in. We can't race in the wind because this thing just wants to be a kite. These big old forks up here, they get air under them and the thing will flip which obviously is not good. So the first half I'm gonna be racing and I'm the only one that's driven this boat, but the second half, Corey. Finally. Finally gonna finally. get some seat time. Oh, I'm excited. I'm totally nervous because I know what's capable <laughs> and I know what can happen yeah, and dude. I respect that. <laughs> but this, it's gonna be amazing to be in there and be able to see what it actually feels like because I've always been behind it and I'm holding on for dear life. I'm getting ripped <laughs> apart on the jet ski. So to be able to run that speed and just be like Brandon, I'm just, just cruising, looking around. It, I'm excited, that's gonna be really cool. Now here's where things get interesting. We haven't done this in a long time, but I'm gonna make a deal with you guys. If we can get 5,000 likes on this video, it's not a crazy like goal because I honestly wanna hit it. We will do the F1 boat versus our drag racing boat. It's gonna be crazy. We've only drove them a few times a piece, so them going against each other, it could go either way. I'm really excited to make that happen, but only if you guys wanna see it. So 5,000 likes will make that happen. I honestly don't know which one's gonna win. They're both really fast. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, that's buoy number one. We're gonna do two white buoys on the close side of the lake and then our orange buoy we're gonna put on the far side because believe it or not, <laughs> they make race boats where you can't see anything out of the windshield. So our bright orange one we, get, we need when we're doing our 80, 90 miles an hour. <laughs> so the, the white ones will probably go between, I don't know, 50, 60 miles, around those, miles an hour around those, but the orange buoy on the far side, that's our, that's our zinger. Buoy number two has been deployed. Now we're gonna go ahead and rip. Last buoy, we're going deep. This is this it, is where it's gonna get crazy. It is hard to see the white buoys because we're at this buoy and I can barely see the white yeah. one over there. All right, let's go give it a rip. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this area. It's like a really nice long run. But here's the funny part. I think <laughs> since we drove over here, I think we should do a lap on the jet boat and time it. <laughs> and then see what that time is 
and then also do that in the F1 boat. That will be, I mean, this boat goes 27 miles an hour. <laughs> and it has a jet intake motor. It doesn't even have a prop. So it like drifts around the turns. So we can't even do like tight turns. <laughs> I think we should do that. I we'll, think we should. We'll drop the buoys and then we'll, we'll rip a quick lap real quick. We'll put it in perspective. Yeah. How long do you think it's going to take to do the course? Corey? Say two minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, that's way too much. No. What do you think? Let's go. A minute. Three seconds. Minute and minute three. three. Okay, all right. A minute and three seconds. I'm gonna go for 69 seconds, which is a minute and nine seconds. So, um, let's see. Let's start the old stopwatches, boys, and uh, and see here. So I'm screen recording on my phone, and I've got a timer set up. We've got how many minutes? 220. 220. A minute and three seconds with Trav, and I'm guessing 69 seconds, which is a minute and nine seconds. So, screen recording. I'll lay that in. Uh, let's figure it out, boys. I'll start it as soon as I full throttle, which we need to get close to that cone first. Three, two, one, start. Okay, all right, I stopped it and then I slowed down. So we like, we followed through. All right, check this out. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. A minute and 30 seconds, 0.79 milliseconds. So 130 is pretty pathetic. I mean, this is a pretty small, like the jet ski would absolutely smoke this course. I think that's interesting. We'll find out what the jet ski is too. Drop your guess in the comment section below, but enough of the playing around. Let's get what you guys came here to see. Let's get in the F1 cockpit. Let's turn the key. Let's get a rip in. And then we'll see what the F1 lap will do. And I promise you, it's going to be better than a minute and 30 seconds. Garmin's cranking up. We got switch one, power, switch two, fuel. I hear you screaming, baby. Prime. All right. Um, switch three, kill switch. Switch four, prime is open, but not engaged. Because of you guys, I have the coolest job in the world, man. I get to wear so many hats. Fisherman, diver, race boat driver. That kind of rhyme, dude. Dr. Seuss, book writer, apparently. Even that rhyme. Woo! This is awesome, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Woo. All right. Fuel, kill switch, and starting. So yeah, that prop is like a gigantic razor blade. And when he kicks that off, it's a foot from me.
to start the time. We just need a time to set to uh, start chasing and to get better and better. So it's just a little practice time, nothing crazy here. Looks like they're getting close. So we're... All right, they just told me we're good to go. He's gonna start his lap as soon as he passes that orange buoy right here. do two laps go ahead and get you two laps in I can just count these laps as you take them that was a good takeoff right there that was a good takeoff turn the first time lap we did i felt the blood rush to the right side of my face on that left turn that was scary dude i was like oh this is it like this is what everyone talked about but she held true like she, this thing's on rails so like you were cooking buddy you're i can tell you've gotten a lot more comfortable this is like the third fourth time you've been in it yeah you're definitely uh sticking it a little more i can feel some confidence there but a lot of like respect <laughs> like i have to respect this thing I, I have to but one thing that i'm having a hard time with and i bet you can see it too i can hear it when i hit these turns i bog down so hard so i'm trying to figure out those trim settings 38.46 on the first one 38.14 on the second or on the third one the good news is is the f1 boat is almost a full exact minute faster than the jet boat thank god which <laughs> that's hilarious um but uh, i know this thing could be even faster if we had someone who knew like really really what they were doing they probably could get a sub 20 second lap um in here which is nuts so um i'm gonna do a couple more in this just get a little more used to it and then i think we throw Corey in the cockpit and let him rip after it dang i wish i can get 30 seconds but that's a lot of seconds to make up for all right we're going for a 37 but i would be stoked with a 35 35 is my real goal i don't know how to do that but we'll try Would it really be a Brandon Jordan race if I didn't end up off the course in the lily pads? I don't think so. <laughs> um. 
Can you trim up anymore? Nope. All right. There we go. Try it now. Give it throttle. Battery sounds low. Go ahead. Go ahead. Close, dude. Yep, close. Again. Again. Just as a side note, I was legitimately yelling, go get him in my helmet. I was super worried about Corey in this moment, but we haven't found a better way to spray to start the motor other than to be on the boat and spray it. But this time it was a lot more dangerous. <laughs> well, I didn't get the ride at that time. I got bucked off the horse. <laughs> it started. <laughs> One way to do it, huh? I knew not to drop the cowling. I've seen you jump off the back. Oh, well, it was either drop the cowling or uh, hold on, so I held on. All right, BJ, you got us on the time? I got you on the time. All right, roger that. As soon as I pass these two white buoys, we're going to start heading that way. All right, it's showtime, boys. Two laps incoming. Aiming for 37 seconds. Seven point one two. That one seemed good? Yeah. So your results. And this, I'm taking the four laps you got out of all of them. Your okay. slowest lap, 37.74. Oh, I wanted a 37. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, that was my slowest. Your fastest lap, 35.94. Yeah! <laughs> I just squeaked a 35, dude. Barely, just barely. squeaked it. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. 35. That's insane. I wanted 37 because we were at 39. Yeah. But I was like, you know, 35 would be just sick because you can shave four seconds. I mean, seconds is minutes in a race. So that's sick. Well, I will say we, uh, <laughs> maybe the motor cowling, you know, she was getting some good, some good air. <laughs> we don't have a freaking motor cowling right now. So maybe that was part of it. But I think it's time for me to hop on the ski, let Corey get in the cockpit, just get comfortable. He's not gonna be doing any race laps. I mean, he can follow the buoy, but it's his first time driving, so it's a big deal. Get on in there, get comfortable, man, get comfortable. Yeah, it's a, it's a tight squeeze, bro. Oh yeah. It's a tight squeeze. Are you claustrophobic at all? No. Okay, good. Boy, thank you for risking your life for the better sake of racing when you got yeeted off. 
By the way, we do that all the time. It's just Corey never gets yeeted off, so it hasn't been yeah. dangerous until then. Well, <laughs> I, I I lost it. It kicked in good, and I lost my balance, and the cowling was up on top of it, and it doesn't float. Yeah. And it's kind of a specialty <laughs> item, so I made sure. One of one. <laughs> I grabbed it and made sure it did not go nowhere. All right. All right, buddy. You're in there. All right, try it. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm still on it, by the way. Oh. All right, nice and easy. <laughs> Can this get wet? All right, you're good, Corey. I'm jumping out of here. This isn't Thinking. dangerous at all. I mean, OSHA approved. <laughs> That's what happens when you run out of fuel. Oh my god, I'm in love! <laughs> yes! Sorry, sorry. I should probably keep my composure. That was that was really cool. I like it. You know, goes a little bit fast around the turns. It's, it's alright. <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh I'm buying an F1 boat. Um, yeah, I'm in love. Shh. Well, Corey either ran out of fuel or he's having a heart attack because his blood pumping so hard. So I'm gonna go see what's up with him. That's what it feels like to fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro, the first couple of runs, like I was dead nervous. I was like, my hands were a little bit shaky. But as soon as I started to feel like where the groove is, where it caught, and the first turns, when it leans and you feel your blood Yeah, dude, like, yeah. Oh, you feel like you're just gonna start tumbling. Yeah, dude. But then when you realize this thing's got it. Yep. Oh my <laughs> dude, God. Dude, it's insane, bro. I don't wanna stop. I know. I don't. You know what's more fun than doing laps like this? Mm -hmm. Getting another one and racing each I other. Know, I'm, that's what I'm, that's Dude. I'm, I'm buying one. Yeah, man. bro, it's it's insane. So that two out here pushing each other and just having fun, like Mental. I can't explain the amount of happiness and joy that bro, would bring bro, dark souls. I was having so much fun following you on the jet ski. I've never got to do that. Corey always does that. I'm like, man, that looks so cool out my window. But from this angle, it's an entirely different beast. Absolutely unreal. But bro. I'm glad you finally got to get in the cockpit. Was I doing all right? I mean, I was running 70 bro, you, and taking turns at 65. You were, you were cooking. I think we have one test left to do and that's the jet ski lap test. I have a minute and 30 on the jet boat. We've got 35.9 as our fastest time on the F1. And that's just my time. We don't know what quarter is running, but he was running some great times too. Probably right in the same ballpark. 
this is a mysterious thing because we can kind of do better maneuvering around the buoys with this even though that one is better it's just more driver error for right now until we learn how to corner better in the f1 but the f1's faster on the straightaways so we'll see i'm thinking though that the jet ski could have the advantage right now because i can be full beans the entire time so we'll see but there's only one way to test it out. Time to beat is 35.9 seconds. We're gonna do two laps. BJ's on the clock. I honestly think the jet ski is gonna do it. It's not faster than the F1, but I think we're better drivers of this than the F1 right now. Three, two, one. One thing I will say. The jet ski doesn't sound nowhere near as cool as the F1 when it takes off. Seven seventeen. fast i was fast all right what is it your slowest lap was 37.1 Ooh. your fastest was only 36.2 shut up f1's faster shut bro. up dude the f1 won dude that's crazy but so i mean they're within right a there. second they're within a second right there so, bro i'm not gonna lie when i hit the first couple buoys i was like oh i'm smoking this like we have to get better on the F1 because I can't have the people say my jet ski is faster, yeah. you know? And, uh, but I was hitting these turns. I was like, I'm not doing turns that good in the F1. That's crazy. I was expecting you to say 32, yeah. not 37. 37 had to be my first because I started yep. cold. Yep. And then what was it? 36? 36.2 or whatever. So uh, like 0. 0.3 faster in the F1. Yeah. And that could even be like down to like thumb press. Yeah. 36.21. Oh my God. So it's so close. Yeah. But F1 is just a hair yeah. faster. Yep. All right. Well, <laughs> that's insane. I'm stoked about that. Uh, let's pull Corey in because he's just floating around. <laughs> he's, he's just, just sitting around. He's just way. waiting, floating around. So we'll, uh, we'll get Corey pulled in. We'll get everything trailered up. But dude, training. Hey. We learned a lot today. Yeah. We learned a lot. I learned I'm in love. <laughs> Corey said he learned he's in love. Will you take this for me, yeah, buddy? I gotta, I gotta go pull my friend back to safety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll catch you at the boat ramp, BJ. All right. We freaking did it. Race training, the old F1 boats. Absolutely unreal. I'm glad we finally got to get some seat time. I'm glad we were able to get Corey in there. We ran out of fuel twice. So we, just in what you guys saw, burnt 15 gallons of race fuels. Absolutely nuts um i think top speed was somewhere around 87 88 miles an hour i can't speak for corey but i know that's what i saw um just absolutely unreal day man it's uh it's just hard to put in words I, i'm i it just doesn't feel real it doesn't feel real but i am glad we we're able to get in there spend some time in the cockpit and honestly just get used to this thing start to become more comfortable with it we have a potential drag race versus F1 race coming up. So again, if you guys hit 5,000 likes, we'll make sure to make that happen. But what an insane feeling today was. That was like proper race testing. And we got some incredible times. And 
and we improved our times. We went from a 37 or so, or 39 actually on the F1, down to a 35. And I'm sure it gets better and better the more we practice. So we also got to get some tips from like the real drivers on when we should hit what. There's some stuff I got to figure out, especially in that orange corner I was bogging down, but any day where I get to put this boat on the water and give her the beans is a good day to me. Put in a lot of hours, massive amounts of work on this. And I spent a lot of time in that cockpit and I was comfortable in there. So when I got in to actually run it, I got in and my hands were shaking, my nerves were shot. But as soon as we started running, I just melted into that seat. Everything felt good and it was just game on. I fell in love, like that feeling you get when you fall in love, that, I fell in love. And I will have an F1 boat and I will race Brandon every chance that we get. Well, look, two F boats is better than one. Yes, brother. always. So I don't know what number you're gonna be. Maybe you'll 96. be 96. <laughs> <laughs> 96, okay, so uh, yeah, look, if you wanna see Corey get an F1 boat, I totally support, I think it's awesome. I think having two and running them could be a lot of fun. I think it'd be fun for you guys to watch as well. Uh, the Nautical Bros have a channel. It's going to be linked in the description below. Go flood them. Uh, the more support, the more fun stuff they can do on their channel as well. It's kind of like the reason why we were able to do a lot of big stuff this year is because you guys loved it. And obviously, you guys viewing it helps us uh, financially be able to make these crazy mistakes. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, look, 5,000 likes, drag boat versus F1. Corey is going to be driving no. the drag. Oh, BJ. BJ is going to be driving oh, the drag. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We forgot to ask BJ a question. BJ is going to be driving the drag boats. Yep. I'll be driving the F1. And then maybe we'll throw Corey in there so it can be brothers head to head. Drag versus <laughs> I F1. Like that. So, could be cool. Um, that's only if you guys want to see it, which is 5,000 likes. I knew once Corey got behind the wheel and gave it throttle, the nautical bros end up with an F1 boat. It may not, it's not gonna be nowhere near as cool as this one at first. It's gonna work better probably. <laughs> no, I don't know, it's a race boat, they gonna, don't work. It's gonna probably work better. <laughs> I was really excited to see Brandon get out there, put down some time lapse, and then Corey get out there and get some seat times. The more we can get comfortable with this, the faster we'll go. Gotta give it to Brandon, he put the beans down today. Like, I've ran with him since he has started with that jet ski. I'm normally holding on for life. I was holding on twice for life. And he was giving it to it. He took them turns on embankments that I was like, dude, I am going to get slung. And I almost did. Look, uh, today's video is race training. And that is what I came out to do. Test the limits. Push the limits a little bit. Each time we go, we'll push it a little bit more. It's all about respect with boats like this. So um, race training, day one. It's officially done. We just get better and better from here. And if you know what you're doing inside the cockpit of an F1 boat and you see mistakes, please let us know. We need help. We need help <laughs> so bad. So with that being said, the current fastest time is 35.9 miles an hour. No. Oh my God. With that, with that being said, the current fastest time in our F1 boat is 35.9 miles an hour. Nope. No. Seconds. Well, I don't know why I keep saying that. All right, I said that twice. I edited it out the first time. All right, it's the fastest time in our F1 race boat is 35.9 seconds. The jet ski was like 36.3 or something yeah. like that. And the jet boat was a whopping one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. So um, I am going to set waypoints. We got to go pick up the blue. I'm going to set waypoints up so we can have an accurate a uh, course as we continue to race testing we'll have a very similar course if not off by like a foot or two but we're not going to just be placing buoys and be like i think that's what it was and get crazy different times so we're going to keep it as accurate as possible we're going to try to get better and with that being said that is going to wrap it up for today's video massive thanks to corey thank you and bj because well you know they built the f1 boat it wouldn't even be possible without them and i'm glad we finally got to get corey in the cockpit it made it really special. It was a cool moment. I don't know where we go from here. I don't know what the next video is, but you can bet your sweet dollar that it's going to be freaking epic. And yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just see you then. I guess that's how it works. You know, I make a video, I post it, and then we just see each other on the next one. All right, I love you. Mwah! Bye. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs>